Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Monday. You know what time it is. It's tea time. And this week in my collection, Pusshead. Pusshead is an underground artist that came out in the 80s and he is still around doing his thing. When I was in junior high and high school, that's when I discovered Pusshead. Uh, he was big in the skateboarding community. Uh, Thrasher Magazine had a section every month called the Puss Zone. It was like a two-page spread of his artwork uh, that had to deal with music and the bands that were going on at the time. And he did a lot of cool stuff for Thrasher and he did a lot of cool artwork for a lot of people. I really liked his style of drawings and back then, you know, he was doing like skulls and corpses and things like that and that's what kind of that's what drew me in as a kid, uh, especially being a young skater. He did a lot of designs for Zorlax skateboards. He also did designs for the Misfits, uh, Metallica, Corrosion and Conformity, and the stuff he did with Zorlax and Thrasher is what really brought me in. Uh, I remember one of my first earliest drawings that I dug by him was a, a drawing called The Hand of Fear. It was just like a, a handprint with this huge skull inside of it. Just a simple Google search will show you a lot of the work that he's done over the years, and he's still going strong. So I've got one t-shirt in my collection, and this still looks good for a 33-year-old t-shirt. I got this in high school about back in 1990. It's one of, one of Puss has many designs. I like this one. I can't even really remember where I got this shirt from, because um, it was kind of hard to find underground stuff like that back in the day. You had to either order it from a magazine or something, but I believe that this shirt I got at the mall. Uh, there was one store that popped up at the old mall that had like, they sold like metal t-shirts and earrings and patches and stuff. Didn't last very long, but it was an odd shop. But I believe that's where I've tracked this shirt down. I mean, this was like decades before things like Hot Topic and Spencer's were a thing. Um, so this was an odd little shop to have. And, and if I'm correct, that's where this came from. But I could be wrong. Puss had had a big influence on me as a kid. I used to look forward to the Puss Zone segments every month in Thrasher. Um, anywhere I could find his drawings, I would get them, I would cut them out. They'd be all over my room. Uh, when I was in art class, I, I tried to, to, to recreate some of those drawings, and I think I did pretty good for, for a teenager, but uh, I don't draw anymore. Aside from his artwork, uh, Brian Schroeder, a.k.a. Pusshead, he was also the founding member of the lead singer of his band Septic Death, and also his record label Pussmore. I'd finally run across a Septic Death CD uh, years ago at one of the record stores I used to work at, and it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. Um, Septic Death were like the early runners of like grindcore, thrashcore, whatever. I guess they were kind of ahead of their time with that, but you know, starting in 1980. I'm not real into it, but I kept the CD. I still have the CD because, uh, of course, it's Pusshead. Uh, I just can't listen to it though. But if you're into that kind of stuff, check out Septic Death. I believe they only had one actual full length record out. Uh, I'm sure if you go to Discogs, you could track down everything about them. Pusshead is one of the first darker, macabre uh, kind of artists that I grew attached to or that I even remember seeing uh, starting out as a kid. If you like dark, skeleton, corpse-like artwork, uh, take some time out of your day, Google Pusshead, check him out, check out his artwork. He's still going strong and uh, like I said, he was a huge influence on me when I was a kid as a, as a young skater, a young artist, and a young musician, so uh, definitely give him a look. You'll find his stuff everywhere. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you next week with another one. Until then, take it easy. Bye.